what's going on gremlins my name is darzeth your favorite tv head with the wiggly waggly tail and today we are back on snow shoveling simulator and for this episode we're going to the tippity top of the ice mountain to collect ice for larry oh yeah and so what i'm going to show you in this video is basically how much money how much ice you can get from basically collecting these ice cubes in some of the most effective ways or non-effective ways to do so so anyhow, there will be a code in a little bit, and it may be for ice, it may be for money. You have to enter yourself to find out, because I honestly wasn't paying attention when I used it myself. So let's continue this, and I know that sounds really weird, but here we go. Get in my vehicle, spawning the baby in, and here we go. On our journey to the top of the mountain. And remember, Gremlins, if you're enjoying this series, this episode, make sure to scratch that like button. Let's be 200 likes. And if we get a like goal of 500 likes, I would be super happy. And also, if you do enjoy the series, make sure to check out my other content as well. It really does help me out. It shows your support. And basically, it, it, it's just a good thing. So anyhow, one thing I'm going to say now is saving up the ice to get into the, the little ice cave down there is actually one of the best ideas ever. I fill up two to three of these bags with just one go. One go at going in the ice cave. You heard me right. Yes, it has a respawn rate, so it doesn't always respawn really fast, but you can get a lot of ice really quickly by going in that place, and I will say it's really, really worth it. So here we go. Larry's over here. Let's, actually, you know what? I want to go talk to Larry before we actually go up there. Hey, Larry, my buddy, my pal. Actually, I don't even know you that well. What's up, man? Hey! Okay, hey. What's up with all the ice cubes behind you? Yeah, I want to know that. All those, I'm, I own the lake on the top of the mountain. I pay people to bring the ice to me. Okay, okay, why? Oh, don't worry about that. I promise if you bring me the ice, I'll pay you good. I'll come back later then. Thank you. So anyhow, I just did that to see if he said anything different. And here we go. So with the ice cubes, there's two options. Using your awesome vehicle right here to actually bring the ice down. Or using your own body strength to do so. But what I'm going to say now is... Using the vehicle is the best idea. And with this, I'm saying that you can carry more than one ice cube. You heard me right. More than one ice cube. How awesome is that? You can carry more than one. So what we're going to do it now, as I already said, we're going to the top of the mountain and actually going to go grab these ice cubes. We're going to go over to the far, far distance where these ice cubes drop. We're going to drop our vehicle right about here. There we go. So for a lot of people that don't know how to do this, it's very easy. If you haven't watched my other videos for some weird reason or not paying attention to this part, you basically click over the spot you want to go on and just let it cut away. And as this is cutting away for the first time, I'm going to give you the code now. And this code comes directly from Lorderman himself. So all you do is go to his Twitter and get the codes there usually before I even post them and bam, give me ice. And then you submit that. We already used the code, so it's already good to go. But yes, we have one ice cube ready to go. But no, 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 we're not done. You can get multiple of them. So what you do is you want to equip your hatchet, re-equip your hatchet, and then go over to it. Why does he hatchet? It's a huge saw. Maybe I combine the words together, mix mash them. I don't know what I just did there. I really don't. Oh my God. Yeah, hey, what's up? So let's keep doing this. Let's claw our way at this, this ice right here. Oh yeah, let's, let's get this baby. Let's get it. Oh, there we go. Two ice cubes. Okay, so now we have two of them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get three of these babies. And we're going to go bring it to him. I'm only doing three because they weigh a lot. Wait till you see this. If you haven't even seen me the first time I actually did this, they weigh so much. Like, they actually pull and push your vehicle around. And I really wish I could bring the greater here because I feel like it'll be a little bit more powerful to hold it. Or even my snowmobile. But the greater honestly couldn't make it up here. To be 100% honest, I don't think you can make it up here. So now we have three of these babies. Oh, yeah. Wait, there's so many ice cubes. So many. Okay, so there we go. So we have this right here. We can tie the first one here. Oh, my gosh. Someone's actually making it a lot harder for me. Okay, we have one. Oh, uh, we, we, where's the other? Where's the other? Ah, uh, there we go. Tie in this one. There we go. And we have one more right over here. So we actually need to take my vehicle over to it. Oh. Okay, now this is where the hard part comes. Ugh. Gah. There we go. So this person... Are, oh, no! I didn't want to untie it! No! No! Retie to the vehicle! Retie! Tie to the snowmobile. There we go. So I know we can hold three of these things, so it's being 
tight snowmobile. There we go. Three of them can be held. See, they already have the good idea here. They already get what to do when I have a giant axe on my hand. I'm swinging it around like I just don't care. So we have three of these babies right now. So look, we pull them. Wait, what? No. No, go back. Go back there. Go back there. There we go. Now let's see. Tied to Snowmobile. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. So do we have two of them now? Do we have two of them? What? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. This is being weird. This usually lets me hold more than one snow... More than one of these. Okay. Apparently, we can only hold one. Wait, can we actually tie one to myself? Hold on. We gotta, we gotta try this. I remember before, I could hold more than one of these ice cubes with me. And I guess they might have changed that because too many people were using, like, too many at once. Okay, tie rope. There we go. Got that. And that yellow snow does not look good. <laughs> there we go. Now we got two. That's how it goes. Okay. Woo. Okay, so now this is going to be very hard. So we're going to have to go very, very, very slow. <laughs> and hope that we don't, we don't mess up. Okay. Wait, what, what are you guys stuck on? You're not stuck on anything. Okay, let's do this. Pop me in the air. Oh, yeah. And that, that snowball is getting, that snow ice is getting really big. Yeah, I'm calling it snow ice now. Whoa. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, ow. Oh, ah. Ow. Oh, oh. Okay. So this was a part of the plan. I, I swear. I swear this was a part of the plan. So what we're doing is we're making our trip a lot shorter because we're going uphill now. So we're going to do this. And oh, I thought I lost ice cube. I was like, how do I lose an ice cube like this? So what we're going to do now is try to maneuver around these babies. And so like I say, two is not always better than one. Come on, guys. You got this. Don't fight. You're going to be going to a good home soon. Oh, there we go. Woo. Oh, man. There we go. Almost there. So, yes, the shortcut is a lot more easier. And there's a better shortcut when I'm going to show you guys in a second. I actually did show it in a previous video. And come on. You seriously, Ice Cube? They're like, they're like little pets that don't want to live. Oh, really? 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 Do I have to go this way? Then that way? Oh, you're going to go. Oh, don't, 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 don't make me. Don't make me get the pickaxe. I will get the pickaxe. Whoop. There we go. Oh, oh, no, no. Do not. You do not go over there. There we go. Going up the hill. And here we go. I brought you ice cubes, buddy. I brought you some ice cubes. Sell ice. <laughs> and I... Uh, okay, did it untie for me? Okay, that, it untied that one. And sell ice. There we go. And as you see, you get ice for doing this. And you get snow as well. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the shortcut and get another piece of ice too on that note. Hey, what's up? You're just walking back with it? Why? Okay, so... Like I said, there's actually a very useful shortcut. It does bring you all the way downstairs. I'm going to say that right now. You will be going to the bottom of the floors. You will be at the very bottom again. But it will be easier to going downhill, which you see right now, using two ice cubes, is a terrible, terrible idea. And as you see, with each ice cube, we got about, I think, a thousand or a little under a thousand ice. So that's pretty good. And we can sell each of them individually. So what we're going to do is... Go over here again. Wait. Oh, yeah. That's right. I have one more ice cube. Oh, yeah. I don't have to tie another one. Mm, 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 mm. So I just showed you guys how to get multiple ice in one go, which is super useful and super awesome. So here we go. We're going to go to the spot I was talking about. You see these little blocks over here? I did show this in the video. How to get yourself the ice very quickly. This right here. These little divots right here. You can actually use them. And just wait to see what you can do with it. I don't know how this is going to work with the ice cube, but we're going to about to do it. Here we go. Woo. Woo. Ah, ba -bam. So as you see, it brought us back down to where we wanted to be very quickly. That shortcut saves us so much time. It really does. You can now go uphill a lot easier, a lot quicker. And check this out. We're going to go and sell this ice cube. We're going to see how much we actually get for it this time. We're not going to be dumb and not realize what we're doing. And here we go, going up. Oh, come on, you silly, silly ice cube. Yeah, they don't like making it easier. But one thing I would like to see in this game is the ability to make an ice igloo. That would be actually really, really cool. I'm going to say that right now. I want to be able to make an igloo in this game. I want to make my own little house. Hey there, Larry. I brought you a... Uh, 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 woo. Okay, hey, Larry. Okay, let's see how much money and ice we get for this. Bam. We got 375 ice and 2,000 something money. 
That is insanely awesome. That is super duper cool. So basically, you can take two ice cubes at a time, go down the hill, come back up here, and you, to be honest, you would probably earn more ice doing this than actually clawing at this for a little while, because this right here, like, even with the fire sledgehammer, which we're going to use now, it gives only 20 ice. It only gives 20. And to be on that mark, let's also use the ice sledgehammer real quick. Let's, let's equip this one. No, not, th not that one. That one. There we go. And this one gives 15. So as you see, the bringing this over there actually gets you a lot more ice a lot quicker. Earn a lot of money really fast. And to be honest, with this, with this guy right here, with Larry, our friend here, our buddy, our pal, we could actually make our life a lot easier. I'm going to say that now because he allows you to actually save up the ice and the money you need both together to be able to go into the ice cave. That is something that everyone should work up to and try to get to. But yes, gremlins, this is the end of the episode, and I hope you enjoyed. Oh, Ice Boss has spawned. Eh, let them take care of it. But yes, gremlins, thank you so much for watching. Gremlins don't die, they multiply. And until next time, every single one of you awesome, every single one of your amazing, and bye, everyone. Woo! -hoo!